43 individuals passed away this last year, um, and I would probably say half of them were due to the cold weather. Kyle Knutson is the interim president of the Homeless Issues Partnership and the social service director for the Salvation Army. He believes that 43 is only the number of deaths officials know about and that that number could be significantly higher. He says the current focus on the homeless is speed. We have our shelter program to where an individual comes in. Um, the idea is that we try to get them back on their feet as quick as possible. Knutson says he believes the number of homeless people on the streets of the city is 800 to 1,000, which he says is comparable per capita to other Texas cities. He says the shelter at the Salvation Army is poised to jump into action before the cold snap hits. Our plans as of right now are to open up our doors to the public at the very latest would be Thursday. The Salvation Army's Abby Seaslack showed us one of their main shelters which house up to 120 people. We don't want anybody out on the streets in the cold. We want there to be a place to go. So as you can see, we have like our mattresses out getting ready. There is a plan to add 120 more beds if the city approves allocating COVID emergency funding at the next council meeting. And they showed us the building that will house those new beds. Knutson says they'll be ready for this week's cold snap. As the weather changes and it looks like it's getting colder quicker, we'll open our doors sooner than that. Brian Burns, 3 News. All right, Brian, thank you for that.